Yes, uh, this is a small tutorial video we are going to make of uh, the Ace mod and interaction menu, most concerning uh, most concerning medics and uh, engineers or explosive experts. We have uh, built a obstacle course running the length of the this airfield, with minefield continually expanding down. Uh, we have my friend here, Kaxor, uh, who is going to make his way through this minefield if he's responding. If he's deep. You here? Yellow. Yeah, no hurry. Right. Yeah, keep it in English, please. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, if you follow this guy, he will lead you to the start of the obstacle course. Your mission is to make it to the end of the runway uh, through a minefield. What we do? Yes. This is uh, more or less a training course to show how uh, the interaction menu works and how diffusion diffusion works. So. I will actually, uh, wait one, I will give you a diffusion kit if you don't have one. Check your backpacks, you do have a diffusion kit. That's a negative. Check your vest and uh, clothes so you don't have that on. I got a toolkit, mine detector and anti-mine mine. Okay, in the vest? Yeah, only a magazine. Okay, I will give you a diffusion kit. Fusel kit because you need that to. Uh, let's give him a trenching tool too. Okay, now um, you now uh, you now have a diffusal kit and a trenching tool in your backpack. So you just follow this guy and he will lead you to the minefield. Spasiba. We have a medic here because we're gonna show the medic skills uh, later on. Um, Start of the minefield is here. Go to uh, if you look straight ahead, it continues all the way to the end of the runway. You see the signs. Stop, stop, stop. See the signs on the right and to the left. Uh, there's a uh, triangle sign to the right and there's a triangle sign to the left. In between these two triangle signs, there is uh, a large minefield going all the way to the end of the runway. Your uh, task is to try making it. Well, I did explain the diffusion and basics of the interaction menu. Roger that. You preferably should go through the minefield, not the side beside it. You have a mine detector, so you should be able to detect the mines. Uh, Detection of mines is done by the mine detector, as it is in the normal game. Um, we uh, will, uh, how do I activate the mine detector? The mine detector is active. You uh, approach When you approach a mine, you will hear a beeping noise. Uh, that beeping noise will get uh, stronger and stronger until you detect the mine. We will follow him up in a bit here and um, test it out. There you heard a beep. I heard a beep. Another beep. Another beep. Yeah, I hear it. It's beeping because I'm close. Probably gonna die here. I'm getting closer. Found the one here. Either that or walk past it. This is the basics of mine clearance. Uh, 
Nice bottle of mine. This mine I will try to defuse with... I'm gonna die here. I feel... feels like I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I know it's there. How the fuck do I target it? There it is. You press T on the mine then. Um, I'm just gonna reverse this guy. And allow Kexor to t uh, try disarming this if he... Uh, when you find a mine, you press T on it. When you find a mine, you press T on it. I'm gonna exit this uh, guy and give him UD tech. He should have a UD tech, so what the fuck. This guy should have EUD tech, so I don't know why the fuck he cannot defuse that shit. Oh yes. This guy doesn't have defusal kit. Yeah, that's awesome. Stupidity and memory loss. I'm just gonna give him a defusal kit and um Kexor just stepped on a mine. So we will. Uh, as you see, you need to be careful and appro approach the mines uh, through. Uh, just gonna put out a new guy. Uh, explosive. Stuff back so he has the diffusion, diffusing, diffusion kit. Uh, diffusion kit. One and one. And then we're gonna join him again. Yes, you have a diffusion kit. You approach lying down, crawling up to them. Then you press the interaction menu when you have your mouse cursor directly on top of the mines. You need to be closer than that. I did that, so... You have a diffusion kit now, so you should be able to use the interaction menu on it to interact with it. I can't hear my mine detector anymore. No, that's because that mine is already detected. Now it's diffused. If you hear your mine detector, that's a mine you haven't detected or marked out on your map yet. Roger that. As you see, he has to approach it lying down, and um, he can't defuse it without defuse kit. Most mines or IDs has a timer to defuse, like 10 seconds or something. But uh, since some mines are pressure plated, they only don't have the the fusion time. Um, as soon as he's done a bit here, we will uh, start showing off the medical system. Okay, we have some mines around here because I hear peeps. This is a course on itself, so we are doing what we can. Okay, now it's auto detecting the mine for me. That's awesome. And usually, when you do this, you have uh, two guys or one guy that's actually watching the perimeter while one guy is approaching the mine to defuse it or the ID or whatever. We're gonna do a uh, halt to the proceedings here, Cax, and uh, we're gonna do an ID. Uh, so you can exit the minefield now if you want to. You don't have to continue clearing these mines. One more. Roger that. 
meet me at the prison shed again and we were gonna plant a large IED that you can try to disarm. That's a roger. Since uh, most of the stuff uh, you do in Ace actually require using this menu, uh, it's quite useful to use the EUD tech to get the guy. We are using a pressure plate and we are using a large dug in. We have two IDs there. Uh, let's do a small urban pl pressure plate. We have three IDs. I'm gonna move the medic to the other side of the building and then I'm going to go into the guy. We have three IEDs. You have uh, one small, two large. One pressure plated uh, large and one unpressure plated large. And I think the small one is pressure plated too, so you have different options to defuse them. And uh, then we're gonna do to mine uh, explosive planting after that. Roger that. So if you follow me, I will lead you to the first ID. Yeah, just wait for the stamina. Yeah, that's always awesome. After that, we're going to do the medical, and then we are done. Roger that. With, the, with this video at least, then we can take a break until the other people arrive, and we can do the training mission. That's a Roger, Roger. You should have the stamina now to continue. In a straight line in front of me are uh, three IEDs. I've already spotted the first one for you. I'm gonna get this guy in a, to a safe position, and then I'm gonna let you to uh, let you defuse them. First one disarmed. There's two in front of you. You will hear them on your mind detector. I think this is the large pressure plated one, if I'm not mistaken. Using this, we're going to do explosive planting. Yes, good work. Uh, you have in your backpack uh, anti-tank mine, if I'm not mistaken. That is uh, correct. You use the self-interface menu on Control Windows key to bring up the self-interaction menu. In that, there is a, uh, a sub-menu called the explosives. I want you to plant that 80 mine, then I want you to disarm it and pick it up again. First and foremost I want you to plant it and select a trigger for it to be pressure plate. After that I want you to disarm it. Then we move on to suicide vests. Roger that. So if you uh, press control uh, windows key. And interact with mine and select a trigger for it if it isn't already triggered. Okay. 
Okay, try to disarm it if it's triggered. Is it still armed? Yeah, it is. And we're clear. Okay. Can you try to pick it up with the interaction menu? Do, do you have an option to pick it up? That's a negative. Roger that. Uh, just leave it for now. We're gonna restart the map anyway for the later games. Okay, you could pick it up. Uh, yeah. Uh, we are going to uh, do the suicide vest now. So I'm going to go uh, do a, a Russian prisoner with uh, that has surrendered and make him into a suicider. Roger that. Um. Of course, we're gonna make the guy. Start making him over here at least. Uh, let's do a URM. Let's do a machine gunner. You. Let's captive. Fuggle. Let's do fuggle captive. Like so. Let's do spawn. That's not what I want. I want arsenal. No, this one. Equipment. No. Uh, objects. Where? Yeah, right there. Set suicide bomber for Russian. No, 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 no. Set ID. Uh, create ID. No, no, no. Suicide bomber model. Is it? Yeah, that's the one we're gonna take. Set suicide bomber. Small disabling. Small. Uh, activation distance. Yes. Activate for you. Uh, Advest disabling fake. Let's do fake. Advest small. Activation distance one meter. Let's let's do five. So he has. Okay, let's patrol radius ten. Yes, because this is a training. We are going to give this guy like there. Okay, behind you you have a Russian prisoner that has surrendered. Uh, so um, you have to disarm his suicide vest that the, the enemy put on him. Behind you. Uh, to <laughs> Good job. Get off. Yeah. What, what the, the fuck? Hell you activated the IED again. That guy over there, go and disarm his suicide vest. Sure, yes, sir. Uh, approach it like it's an ID. Don't get too close. As he's using the interaction menu, the interaction menu is usually in ACE located on the Windows key. I will try to show you this uh, later on while we do the training mission because I will pl uh, replay that too. This interaction menu, you, you will use this for most stuff in um, Ace uh, since it has replaced the scroll. Um, it is quite a much, uh, quite a better solution to scroll. So. Uh, how is it going? I can't find anywhere that he is wearing a bomb or something. 
He is uh, actually uh, try opening the inventory, checking that out. I don't know what to do. The only thing I have is open inventory, escort prisoner, free prisoner, magical menu, or join alpha. Yeah, uh, I understand that. Uh, let's check the me uh, medical menu just for just for lols. Uh, let's just diagnose this guy. Nothing. I know. Uh, I know he has a suicide vest on because I actually put it on. So. Uh, what the hell, actually? Let's let's start with uh, freeing the prisoner. Let's see if we can interact with him then. Medical. Okay, he's running because I think he's gonna explode. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, then I don't really know how to disarm a fucking suicide vest. Uh, we're gonna have to try this one in the training. Okay, uh, let's... Everything except one leg is good. He's alive? No, oh, fuck, no, he's not alive. He's, not... Okay. he's uh, too heavily wounded. He has wounds everywhere. I cannot heal all this shit. He is a goner. Yeah, I salute him. Yeah. But uh, as you see people, the medical menu is usually interact, medical, then you have the different medical options if you want to do the fast menu, then you have the medical menu, where you get a more detailed view, especially if you're a medic or have the medic trait or combat lifesaver. Then usually you, ha you can select the body parts and uh, select what you want to do. Use uh, morphine to cre uh, in decrease uh, the pain. You'd use endorphine to wake them up if they uh, shouldn't be, if they can't wake up. And you use the bandages uh, to uh, patch up everything in standard. There is advanced treatment that transfuses blood. Blood is the no transfusion is uh, quite important. But in really advanced, you have to use. Um, Surgical kits and stuff, but at the moment we are only using a simplified version, I think. Actually, no, no, don't know how to change over to the hard mode, so I will actually try to check that out. But thanks for watching this small tutorial, if you understand our meaning. And excuse Caxor for his ineptness. <laughs> we all have fun. Yeah. See you next time, and I uh, hope to stream more Alma Free later today.